All right, what's good, power people? This is the Power Living Purpose Podcast with David C. Henderson, and this is the health and fitness tip of the week. All right, this week's tip is called Flu Free Holiday Shopping Part One. All right, now Thanksgiving is over with. We're all we're almost into Christmas, um, and uh, hopefully uh, everything was good for you. Um, in uh in when we had the black friday and all that stuff and all the way leading up until now um but um we're still a couple of what about 10 days away from christmas and uh basically what you want to do when you get out there if you're going the old-fashioned way to these stores you need to be careful because there's still a lot of stuff going on out there it's still got Still got some COVID. You got some RSV. You got some, may still have some monkey pox floating around. I think they're supposed to just call it M pox now or something like that. Um, uh, but anyway, um, so going to give you a few quick tips to make sure when you're out there, um, when you're out there flu free, we out there doing your Christmas shopping, uh, that you are coming back without anything extra like any of those nasty diseases. So number one, your mask in the store. I know we think COVID is over. We say Joe Biden said COVID, COVID is over. It feels like COVID is over. But when you're in those stores and there's dozens and dozens of people and they're all touching over everything and they're coughing and they're sneezing and all of that stuff, it's best to have a mask on. All right. Um, it's really, yeah, it's best to still have one on this holiday season. Hopefully this will be the last year we have to deal with masks. And gloves now um uh well yeah mask and all that stuff now next one is gloves all right so with these people are picking up everything putting it down looking at this oh susan would love this oh this would be so nice oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah uh, my, oh my boy wasn't it he'll like this this will it'll be perfect these people are putting picking stuff up putting it down you don't know what's on their hands you don't know if they're clean they're probably not and um so uh, you can, I mean, you can wear uh, the disposable gloves in the store, but it's wintertime. Just put on some regular warm gloves, some regular cotton or um, or or uh, leather gloves. That'll still keep your hands um, covered. All right. And you can actually sanitize um, if the gloves are, um, depend on the type of glove, you can take some sanitizer and rub it on to the, out, to the gloves while you still have the gloves on your uh, on your hands and um uh of course you're not going to soak it in it but you can you know just a small amount sanitize your gloves when you get back to the car and you keep your gloves on all right now um booster shots now um in addition now uh at this point now in 2020 we believe that uh what do we believe we believe that um covid was caused by 5g antennas uh, we call believe that what the COVID boot vaccine would cause your nose to fall off or you, you know, or you, you're going, uh, what you're going, all kind of stuff. Um, yeah, you, you, you take the vaccine, you know, we had all these anti-vaccine craziest things. So at this point, a lot of those, unfortunately, a lot of those people, those anti-vaxxers, uh, they, they actually died during the pandemic. Unfortunately, you know, rest in peace. Sorry. But um, the, at this point it, it, it should and not be not any question whatsoever whether i wonder if that covid vaccine is safe you know are all your friends still alive who took the shot yeah pretty much so um if you if you if you uh, haven't got your booster shots now i know i think you if you're over 55 i think those are the ones who are more eligible i think under 55 they said we're not eligible so if you're over uh the age that you're supposed to get one go ahead and get another one if you can uh, it's still going around. People are still catching it, and people are still dying from COVID. Um, in terms of a flu shot, if you uh, if you get a flu shot every year, then you uh, should keep on getting one. Um, is what the recommendations are. All right. Um, now the um, let's see. Now we we um, had a lower flu season last year because everybody was wearing masks. Um, so it's it's a catch twenty two. Either we're gonna have uh, natural immunity, or we're going to um, not catch COVID. I, I'm glad that uh, most people chose to wear a mask and not catch COVID. All right, our immune systems will get back used to the regular seasonal flu. Um, so um, now, 
The other, next thing is understanding the cold to warm balance. Um, about a month ago, I did a health tip that talked about, uh, well, I guess, yeah, about a month ago, the health tip that said the health benefits of co brief cold exposure. Um, and that explained that all the scientific research is now showing that if you expose yourself to very cold air or water for about five minutes a day, whether most people it's going to be a cold shower, the last part of the shower, you gradually make it colder. And that the last little bit, it, it's, it does all type of stuff to your mitochondria, your, um, your, your, your blood vessels. It does things for your brain. It does all kind of health benefits from about five minutes a day of cold exposure. All right. Um, but you don't need to be just constantly going from cold to hot, cold to hot, cold to hot in the car, out of the car, in the car. So you want to be bundled up and stay warm when you're out and about. Now, uh, you only want to do that cold, either that five minute last part of the shower cold or uh, going out first thing in the morning cold or rolling down the windows cold. Other than that, you want to stay warm. Now, um, next two, last two things, num uh, cover your head. All right. Especially if you um, don't have anything on top like me. Um, but, uh, <laughs> even if you do have a lot of hair, um, you still, um, it's still better to cover your head because, um, it, that's where your, the, uh, heat can escape, uh, heat, the heat can escape from. Now, if you got a whole lot of hair that's up and about and around, that might be different. But if you got long hair where it goes down, like for women, that's not the same as an afro that's up and covering. All right. So uh, either way it goes, uh, it's still best to cover your head with a hat and um, preferably a skull cap that covers your ears. Now, if you don't cover your head, at least cover your ears with um, a head wrap or um, earmuffs. If people still wear earmuffs, I, I don't know. Depends uh, if that's the trend. I don't know. Um, but uh, definitely a thick headband to cover your ears if you got a lot of hair. If not, then you want to cover that head all the way because wherever you... Um, Cold air can escape um, ears, nose, um, uh, finger, you know, hands, feet, uh, anywhere, anywhere heat can escape, uh, it will if you give it a chance. So um, in part two, I'm going to do part two uh, probably tomorrow. It'll be talking about the foods, the drinks, vitamins and supplements um, that or, that can help you keep your immune system strong from the inside. Um, and, um, so to re to just to, to recap, um, of the, the way to go flu free shopping part one masks, mask, go ahead and mask up when you're inside, you can, and people, you can take your mask off when you're in the car. There's no benefit of driving behind the steering wheel with a mask on or walking down the sidewalk with a mask on. There's no benefit to that whatsoever. It's not airborne like pollen. Um, and gloves, you want to wear your gloves, booster shots, make sure you got your booster shots, understanding cold to warm. You want to try to get cold for that five minutes a day, but otherwise, other than that, you want to be warm, cover your head and cover your ears. And I forgot to mention that this health tip is sponsored by American Health and Fitness Services. We bring the fitness center to you through virtual and in-home and on-site fitness services currently in the central Alabama area uh, in person and worldwide uh, virtually. And if you're looking for a personal trainer, diet plan, fitness coaching, diet coaching, anything like that, and in the central Alabama area, we have alkaline water delivery and uh, weight loss tea that we make and deliver. So if any of those sound good to you, visit AmericanHealthFit.com. That's American Health Fit. Dot com or call 334, call or text 334-226-0627. And uh, as always, have a healthy week. Stay powerful, my friends.